Hello, what's going on guys? It is Delta. we are back with some more Final Fantasy Tactics 1.3 last time! We finished up with Act 3, completing Riavanda's Castle, probably the most luck-based part of the entire game, I want to say. I mean, other than that, maybe, maybe, the final battle. I don't know. We'll have to see when we get there. But for now, it should, in theory, be back to something a little bit more reasonable. Now, Act 4 is pretty tough on the whole. Probably the hardest part of the entire game, as it should be, really, right? It's the latest part of the game. Of course, it's hard. But... It shouldn't be quite so batshit crazy as everything we've been doing lately. I hope. I pray. And in defense of the previous battle, I actually think that what I did there would work every single time. It's just a matter of finding that one particular strategy that works out, I guess. I just... I really don't like it, <laughs> I guess. Maybe because I've never really liked that battle with Cilia Liddy and Elmdor because... When I was a kid, right? I definitely remember losing that one a few times and just going like, how the hell do I win this? You know what I mean? It just... It requires a very specific setup. And I guess that's not necessarily a bad thing in and of itself, but man. Let me just put it this way. I am glad to be done with Riavana's castle. That's for goddamn sure. <laughs> Let's move on to Act 4, though. And see if we can not get some stuff done here today. Now, we got like a million and a half propositions to do. I think we are going to roll with this team for one more battle, and then we will get our new names at the start of the next one. For our final group, man, already. Already, golly. The corpses are crushed by something real powerful. Was your sister one of them? No, she wasn't. She was in this castle, probably gone now. Only three Shrine Knights were here, no one else. Well, like two and a half. Did you see what they did to Islud? Oh, my lord. <sighs> I killed the one who turned into Lukavi. The other one, Islud, was dead also. That means that the third one took my sister away. Maybe they went back to the main church at Muron. They're following the high priest's orders, right? That the knight who took your sister must have gone to Muron. Is it Muron or... I'm gonna say Muron, actually. You think so? I doubt the high priest knows the stone's secret. Wegraf didn't know the secret until he contracted Valius. Okay, so the church actually doesn't entirely know what these Shrine Knights are doing. And I, I think it's supposed to be like a rogue faction of these guys, right? Again, they're basically Templars. More or less. So I'm thinking that Vormav and his crew are just... They're sort of doing their own thing behind the High Priest's back. While also still technically serving for this... Uh, serving for the church. Which it makes sense, because if they were serving the church, they would basically have ultimate immunity to just about everything. Like I say, they're the highest... The highest power in all the land. So yeah, seems like a win-win for Vormab. Pretty clever, that guy. Uh, and I think that Islu died fighting the Lukavi. What do you mean? Secretly controlling the war to strengthen the church's power. I'm sure that's the High Priest's true ambition. But collecting the stones and using the Brave Legend to use the people. You mean even the high priest being used? So it would seem. Who took your sister away? I believe it was Vormav. He's probably behind it. What are you gonna do? I'm going to see Delita in Zeltenia. The one who replaced the Baron Grimms as the leader of the Black Sheep Knights. Delita's being controlled by the church and the Shrine Knights. Does Delita know the truth about Vormav? I think Delita will be fine. Alright guys, hold on though, I gotta change my clothes real quick. For chapter 4, somebody to love. Aww. Isn't that just sweet? I mean, when you consider that he's probably talking about a sister, maybe not so much. Fortunately, this is Final Fantasy, not Fire Emblem, so we good. Oh, Zeltenia Castle. So we get to see what Delete is doing for a little bit. That's good, that's good. I love this guy. <laughs> Oh, no, Orlando, in fact. About time, too. Welcome back, Father. Ready to go kill people yet? No, not quite. Yes, how are you, Olan? Fine. How is the front? You know, it's really horrible. You have to keep an eye on your own men. My reputation is shot. Ha 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 ha. Your reputation. What about Gotana's? Everyone says it's because of you that all the other generals are still here. Pledging lifelong loyalty, that's the Orlando way. Watch what you say. I'm sorry, I'll be careful from now on. Alright, what about the other matter? 
The crystal-like stone was found in Goog. Another was found by the late Cardinal at the end of the war. The Shrine Knights have been active, but we don't know their plans just yet. What about the spy we sent into Muron? Unfortunately, we'd like some proof of the High Priest's plot and move into peace. Yeah, good luck doing that, though. These guys are sneaky, to say the least. That's right, Orlando has a Holy Stone. God, could you imagine fighting Orlando as a Lukavi? That's like fighting God plus one. And like, no lie. His name is Thunder God. <laughs> They'll find out sooner or later. There will be a real war. I don't like it when people have those, though. It never ends well. You know what I mean? Yeah, I kind of forgot that Orlando technically serves under Delita at this point, doesn't he? Alright, so we have our next objective. We're heading on over to Zeltinia Castle because supposedly... Well, first of all, that's where Delita is. Then we're gonna go, like, over here to Limberry Castle. Say, wait a second, isn't that what we're supposed to be doing right now? Hold on, Elma, I've gotta go talk to my friend first. Brother, come on! We have also, like, a million propositions that I could be doing. And I'll probably do enough to pick up Damage Split for Regina. Because she's really close to that, and I feel like damage split would be good. So I'm gonna grab that real quick, then we shall move on. Okay, so I lied. I actually did every single proposition available at this point, so we are now souped up. So with Regina, we just got enough to learn damage split, which I for some reason did not buy up until this point, but we're gonna do that right now. She wants that because it's gonna help out her survivability a little bit. She still doesn't have a whole lot of HP, in fact, I think she has like the power sleeve right now just because it gives more HP. In fact, we can do better than that. Yeah, because there's a bunch of new shops and stuff as well. I am broke as a joke, as you can see, but we can fix that really easily just by selling old crap. I thought you could buy black clothes at this point, but I guess not. They give like 100-something HP, but at any rate, she's more or less the same other than that. I just got her damage split. She didn't do a lot of the propositions now, but still, basically sat inside the samurai class for a very long time. I forget what exactly the requirements are. Let me look at those real quick. But they're pretty steep. She just happened to be pretty close. Let's see. You need four knight, five monk, three lancer. So yeah, she was able to get all the way up to level eight as a samurai. Which sounds like a lot, but she really doesn't have that many abilities unlocked just yet. I bought Hamido because I'm going to want that on at least a few people. And in case you forgot, this is the skill that allows you to attack first and cancel the enemy's attack. We're not going to be using that on her right now. But there's one side quest in particular where you're going to want at least two, I would say, two or so people with the Hamido skill. And we have that now. Other than that, she has magic attack up, draw out samurai. She's gonna be really, really strong. She can do a lot of damage in a single attack. And she has a bunch of magic boosting crap as well. She just has item as a secondary because I didn't know what else to give her. She's gonna be doing damage. That's the thing. She's just a damage dealer at this point. Instant AoE damage that'll do well over 100 damage. Probably close to 200, depending on compatibility. It really just depends. Once we get some better draw spells, oh man, she's going to be a force. I'm telling you. MCP, probably the most interesting one here. So I was actually able to get him the Bard class, which is, again, it's basically the opposite of the Dancer class. So the Dancers do nothing but debuff, Bards do nothing but buff. And I bought Last Song, which instantly fills up your CT to 100. So basically, whenever this goes off, it has a 50% chance to give everybody on the team another turn it hits everybody separately so it's a 50 percent chance per character you don't really have control over who it hits but as long as everybody can do something then it's not really bad when it happens obviously pretty good ability pretty damn good nameless song adds some random buff but they're all very good re-raise regen protect shell and haste it adds only one but since all of them are very beneficial for the most part it doesn't really matter what you get hit with so much that you're getting hit with something. Now, I should have bought Angel Song actually because it gives MP. And I don't really have a good way to restore MP as of right now. In fact, I'm going to make him into a bard for this next map just so that I can hopefully buy Angel Song. Yeah, we can do something like that. It doesn't really make too big of a difference. He still has defense up and damage split. And this actually gives him a good secondary ability as well so i can actually give him something more useful here how about how about just item honestly can he use high ether or what 
Because right now my biggest fear is MP restoration. He can't use it, but he can buy it. We'll do that. So seeing item damage split, because we were able to do so many propositions that he was able to both unlock Sage and buy damage split. So we're going to leave him on that for the time being, because it's just such a good reaction. Especially in combination with defense up, it's going to be hard to take him down. So he's going to be support bot extraordinaire on this next map. And yeah, I'm really feeling that. I'm really feeling him being a bard instead of a knight. I'll switch him back to a knight after this one, just for the higher HP. And Urgil, we actually didn't do all that much. I bought him abandoned, but he had that at the end of the previous fight. And I also unlocked Samurai plus Hamido for him. We don't need that on this fight, but it could be useful in the future. The thing with Hamido, though, is that... A lot of the enemies have ranged attacks, and they'll be more than happy to go for those. If they can't just straight up one-shot you. On the other hand, Yurchul as a ninja has really low HP, so he's a bit more of a tempting target when it comes to uh, physical attacks at melee range, but... We're gonna do a bandit on this fight. I gave him a mantle as well, so he has insane evasion from any kind of head-on attack. And he also has about a 50% shot to dodge any physical or magical hit, even from behind. Because of the mantle. And Rafa and Balak, I mean, they're basically exactly as they were as enemies. Rafa is much worse because she has a much lower brave stat. And that's going to be really huge in actually trying to get reaction commands. The only ones she can really use are the ones that do not care about your brave. Like Weapon Guard. Abandon. I'm trying. I'm really trying to think of reactions that don't care about your brave. But there's not very many of them. So Rafa basically has a dead slot for her reaction command most of the time only 31 brave gives you only a 31 percent chance for any of that stuff to happen i guess like finger guard and arrow guard would always work but they wouldn't work very well because they would only add 31 percent of aid so eh. yeah that's really her big thing and also her heaven skills are just straight up worse than Malak's hell skills because again they only hit from one to six times as opposed to Malak's 1 to 10. They do good damage and all that. Because Rafa is pretty strong when it comes to magic. But you would be better off with just about any magic user. Because of the other issues that she has. I guess she's kind of fast. 8 speed by default. She doesn't have any speed boosting stuff. So yeah, she's kind of fast I suppose. So there's always that. She actually comes with Sage by default. So that's pretty interesting. She has some higher level job classes. And that's something that this patch does on the whole. A lot of the generics, or rather, a lot of the special units in the original game basically only had their default class unlocked, but now you're actually able to use some higher level ones right off the bat with characters like Rafa, Malak, some other characters we'll be getting in this chapter, etc, etc. She has some basic stuff for Wizard, some basics for Time Mage, almost nothing for Summoner. She has some Oracle utility, I guess. A little bit in Mediator. In fact, just one ability in Mediator. Nothing at all, really, in Sage. Besides Sleep 2. I suppose Sleep 2 is pretty nice. But I really don't feel like all of that stuff, even though it's free, I don't feel like that really saves her. Malak, on the other hand, has a lot of the physical jobs unlocked right off the bat. I think he's really only missing, like, the Samurai line. And he starts pretty close to that. He only needs to level up Lancer a few times and Monk one more time. And then he would have Samurai as well. Malak would actually be a fairly decent samurai because he has okay magic. But as you can see, his stats are just better than Rafa's. I mean, he has 10 physical 8 magic. She has 7 physical and 8 magic, so they have the same amount of magic. Malak has more jump, way more physical damage, has a better skill set, arguably. The fact that he has low faith is actually kind of a benefit in some cases, especially if you were going to consider Malak to begin with, right? Because you can use him as an anti-magic unit. He has good enough physical damage to just run up into their face and smack them around quite a bit, while also not taking a whole lot of damage from enemy magic, and also reducing the chance he gets nailed by like a status effect or something. He's also pretty fast from what I remember, and like I said, he has ninja by default. So like, if we changed him over to a ninja... Didn't I buy the spell edges? I thought I did, yeah. And you can also buy these spell edges at this point, which give a hell of a lot of magic. And as a ninja, just like that, he has 10 and 8. Plus, he could even go further than that. Uh, if we wanted to give him some other crap, like a Holy Miter or whatever, he can get really, really high magic. And he can do the same kind of thing as his default Hell Knight class. Like, look, if we give him the two spell edges, 
now he would have 10 which is pretty good and then we can make that even higher because he can use robes and crap like that so he can get really really strong magically like if he wanted to he could be up to 15 magic and 8 speed whereas Rafa can't even do that so yeah I guess even though on paper Rafa has better magic she really doesn't because Malak has better equipment the only thing that you might be able to debate is whether or not it's better to have all of these physical jobs unlocked from the start or all the magical jobs unlocked from the start. But honestly, of the two, I, I just have to give it to Malak every single time. And he also has much better Brave. 69 Brave is actually pretty passable, so I can't really complain about that too much. Again, his faith is low, but that's almost sort of an advantage in a way for him. He's a pretty decent Geomancer. Yeah, he can use... Uh, he can use elemental pretty well for some instant guaranteed damage and having that ninja access for a higher speed class is just so nice it's just so nice not one of the best units in the game by any stretch of the imagination but compared to Rafa it's a blowout honestly it's a huge blowout in Malak's favor as far as I'm concerned Rafa does have one and precisely one thing that she's pretty good at and that is finding hidden items because the chance of you getting the rare item is reverse brave base basically because uh, so essentially if you have 31 brave right that gives you a 69% chance to find the rare item if you step on a tile that has a hidden item onto it and that was kind of a mechanic I didn't really talk about too much we actually saw it on the previous map when I landed on the tile and Ramza picked up a phoenix down I think and there's stuff like that on every map in the game <laughs> Which is just, oh my god, that's so annoying if you're some kind of completionist. If you like to get 100% of everything, good luck, man. Especially if you want to get the rare items, because you only have one shot. You have one shot to get the rare item on any given hidden item tile. And you need the move find item ability in order to even have a chance. Or if you're just a chemist, then you automatically have that ability by default. And with Rafa, because she has such a low brave you increase your chances of getting the rare item which is very nice on maps where they have incredibly good hidden items which happens every once in a while it's mostly with the side quests so don't worry about it in the main story but once you start doing the side quests it is something to think about occasionally especially the goddamn deep dungeon oh my lord don't even get me started on the deep dungeon if you have no idea what I'm talking about it's basically the ultimate challenge like the super secret hidden dungeon at the end of the game that you can do that's way harder than the main story but we're not worrying about that for quite a while <laughs> definitely not so let's go ahead and do this next fight for Dogula Pass Dogula Pet Dogula Do Dogula Pass let's do it this one I actually don't remember being very difficult all things considered but there is another character that we can recruit right now by saving his ass in this next fight so let's try to do that if we can something like that should be good what I want to do is get haste immediately basically you know pretty standard stuff but we can get it on five people that's why my G is as fast as he possibly can be kind of sucks I wish he could use not rods I wish he could use poles as a time mage but he can't and I still want to work him towards sage eventually oh I guess we can't huh <laughs> we can't haste our bard but that's actually perfectly fine as long as we're here, you cannot pass. Short, simple, to the point. All right, bud. Looks like they have a sage, a ninja, three death knights. That's pretty scary. I honestly want to say we should get the first... Oh, my God, sorry. I want to say we should get the first turn, though. And we do. Now, this guy down here is actually a guest. His name is Hidoshi. Uh, this guy, though, Hidoshi. If you save him on this map, he actually will join you. And I'd kind of explain what his old gimmick is, but there's three of them as enemies, so we'll be able to see that for ourselves, I have no doubt. But basically, picture a better version of Gaff Garion, basically. Now, these guys are all dodgy as hell because they have super, super high evasion. I imagine their shields are probably pretty good. Yeah, shields and mantles. It doesn't matter. We have a lot of ways to hit guaranteed damage on these guys, like draw out and stuff like that. I'm just going to go for this for the hell of it. If we hit it cool, which we do. Sweet, so that's damage on him we don't need to worry about. And my G should come up next, yeah? Yes, he does. Okay, cool. And we can get a haste right now. MCP is coming up as well. Right, they all have 10 speed. Right, right, right. And we can go ahead and just throw out last song right now. Yeah, let's go with last song. That should be just fine. Now, if we actually hit all four of these guys up here, we're looking really good. It's pretty likely for that to happen. Yeah, we do. We can't miss Regina. 
because we have good compatibility. Okay, so now we're all hasted. We're way faster than the enemy. Except for Hilda the Assassin. What? Stop, bracelet. <laughs> there we go. Goodbye. So yeah, that's what assassins can do to you, by the way. They can just they can just do that. Keep in mind Hidoshi has good evasion, and he also has defense. Or he had defend the status. So his evasion was super high, and they hit regardless. So just keep that in mind. Assassins do not miss. We're actually just gonna hit this guy and this guy alone. Because I'm fairly sure that with Regina having a short charge and all that, she should be able to I guess some kind of status on those death knights. I'm going for a frog. I wish I would have had sleep, to be honest. Maybe I should have brought her along for more propositions, but... I'm thinking she should be able to get, at the very least, a frog. Yeah, she can. Oh, she can actually get a holy right now. Are any of these guys actually immune to frog? I doubt it. Yeah, it looks like none of them are actually immune to frogs. So, if we move Regina right here, because of short charge, we can get it in one go. We can potentially hit some of these guys. It's not the most accurate thing, but if we hit even one or two, then this is a worthwhile move every time. And failing that, we still have damage splits, so unless they take us out in one shot, there's one frog. Two frogs, so this is already worth it. And that guy will not be able to... Hmm. Well, I guess it depends on that sage and what she decides to do. But that guy, the, uh, the ninja... He's really screwed because even if we kill him and his re-raise goes off, he's still going to be a frog. Frog doesn't dispel once you, uh, when you die, basically. And the sage actually didn't choose to... Oh, confusion too. That could be really bad. Yeah, that could be really bad. But, hmm, I guess we'll have to see. But basically that ninja is stuck as a frog. For the time being. And this Death Knight had no choice but to waste his time by restoring the other one. They both missed their turns. And the ninja is totally crippled. And this last Death Knight isn't a huge threat because he's already quite injured from that first throw that we got. He already took basically 100 points. Yeah, look at this. He's thinking really hard about this next move. Ah, Death Strike. It missed, thankfully. So that's some pretty good luck. Now the question here, hmm. See, I think that, what, what does she have? Oh, she has Hamido. I was going to say, I think that Yurto can just kill her, but she, if she has Hamido, then we don't really want to risk that. Uh, 55 Brave is not a whole lot. <laughs> Bad compatibility, naturally. And we, we actually don't want to even risk the Hamido, though, by the way, because the Dragon Rod is, like, stupidly powerful. How strong is it? It's, like, 20 or something. It's really strong. Yes, yeah, 20 power. So even though she only has six attack, that's still going to hurt a lot. So I think we'll just move up a little bit. Throw a lightning ball. It's not going to do all that much because of the whole compatibility thing. But with that guy totally harmless, I'm not worried about that ninja. And he was probably the worst of these enemies to be dealing with. We can start chipping that girl down. My G. I didn't buy Reflect, and even if I did, there wouldn't be a whole lot I could do here, so it might be in my best interest to either, one, wait in place and not do anything. Actually, that's the perfect move, because my G will outspeed the two ladies, for sure. He'll be at 40, and then... Okay, so Estelle was missed. Regina was confused. But MCP, not MCP, but my G will outspeed them. Unless Regina specifically gets quick, which she doesn't. Cool, cool. Now, see, the thing is, by moving this way, I'm inviting another stop bracelet. But I'm also doing a hell of a lot to these guys. Oh, wow, that... You're kidding. I actually can't reach that guy. Huh. I probably wouldn't have done it like that then. I would have definitely targeted onto that one Death Knight who's already been injured a little bit. I guess it doesn't have as much vertical as I thought it did. This isn't two? It's actually three. Aw, oh, man. I should have checked that first. Either way, though, we can do damage to this guy right now. I'm probably going to catch an instant death, but my G can just bring her back. I'm guessing that's not very good compatibility with either of these guys, because it seems like we should be doing more. She's a Scorpio. Bad. bad yeah okay so we should actually be doing about 160 ish which would be better obviously yeah we just want to make sure that we can hit 
Regina with a high ether if need be. Now, because we only have a wizard rod, this should basically be doing nothing as it is. And we might even damage split, which I'd be cool with. Would have been fine because, you know, spreading out the damage a little bit doesn't really hurt us there. Hilda and Fox. So we can kill this Sage right now. Guaranteed. This girl, she has what now? She actually has two crossbows. Uh, nice one there, game. Nice cheat. You actually can't do this. <laughs> Not that the game cares about any of that. So all I really want to do is make sure that she doesn't have an angle on Regina. That is no angle. So as long as I'm right behind my G, she is safe. Fox was indeed the ninja, yeah? He was, and he is a frog, so he is of no threat to me. So that Sage is going to have a re-raise popped right now. Actually, I think the frog has a meter. So we'll just, we'll just do this. Not the greatest odds, but good enough for me. Yeah, there we go. We got one hit. And we'll just stand back to back with each other. Hilda's going to kill somebody probably with stop bracelet, but what can I do? Oh, you're kidding. What? Oh, man. That's, that's horseshit. Give me this last song, though. Give me this last song. I hate assassins. Oh, yeah. Assassins are booty. All right, so th since that sucked and was a spectacular failure in every sense of the word, let's go ahead and just bring back Regina, I guess. I think she still has haste, yeah? Yeah, she does. Okay, Petrify doesn't clear that, which is good. And like I said, I could draw out all three of these guys, but... I'm a little bit afraid of what might happen. I can honestly just attack him, though, right? No, that's not quite as good. And I will be hitting myself, though. Ugh. This wasn't very well thought out, I'll be honest. Let's just drop him low, or not. Okay. <laughs> On the bright side, these guys are in a little bit of a compromising position. What was that? Oh, I think he broke my haste. Yeah, I don't have haste anymore, do I? Well then. What, if anything, can my G do? Not a whole lot. Now, see, I say that, but there's actually a good chance that maybe I can just kill that damn, uh... If I kill the assassin, we're actually way better off. Huh. What are the chances that I pull that off with two holies? With the best compatibility on my G, I'm saying pretty good. I'm saying we have a pretty good shot of just killing her, so let's just do that with two holies. Move him down here so as to try and skirt the range of that old... Uh, the... What's her name? The Sage. Oh my god, really? She must have magic defense up by default. This girl should be dead, man. <laughs> that was bullshit. That was straight booty. What is that? Am I dead? I am in fact dead. Unless Yurchul can bail me out, which maybe he does. Maybe he does. In fact, I want to say Yurchul plus Regina for sure does, but... Uh, it was definitely looking better a few seconds ago. At least we're getting our reactions. I'll say that much. Now, had that Death Knight been nearly dead, as he probably should have been, we'd be a lot better off. For sure. What's he doing? Probably going for the kill, I would imagine. Yep, 100% goodbye, Estelle. Not the strongest showing for her, I'm going to be honest. The old compatibility problem, I guess. Uh, if I attack you from behind, hopefully a throw plus a spirit shirt should drop you. I mean, it's going to be really close, but I, I actually think we both had bad compatibility with her is the thing. Maybe, yeah, now knowing what these guys have, I think that Regina with a... With a... What, what's the word I'm looking for? With a pole. That would be better. That would be way better. Yeah, it's not looking very good. <laughs> I'll be honest. Oh, man! But if she had a pole right there, that would have been it. Because I could have poked her from two range. And I really don't know how much magic I truly need on Regina because we're trying to use status on the first turn anyways so having a little bit less magic only makes a difference of like what 2% not very much yeah here come these 
Seals. <laughs> Man! Yeah, let me give Regina the whale whisker, actually. Okay, I think we have the right idea. Just... Uh, we needed a little bit more refinement, that's all. That is my excuse that I am sticking to it. Let's go ahead and just... Oh, that guy has... They both have worst. Are you kidding? We're not going anywhere with you, then. Uh, let's get this haste, though. I'm pretty sure that this is how we want to start. I, I really don't care if they want to kill... Hitoshi went off the bat. We just need to make sure that he doesn't crystallize before the end of the map. Same as every other guest. And hit ourselves, please. Thank you. Sweet. Okay. It was like 93 or whatever, but you never know. It's Final Fantasy Tactics, man. So, I don't know. Do we leave the assassin for last or what? Maybe I even try to revive Hitoshi so she just continuously kills him, but I don't know if that's smart either. I really don't. I guess we're going to figure out real quick. Not likely. Yeah, get out of here with your 20% bullshit. Mm, Tetsu knife on you. No telling if we frog this guy again or not. Hopefully we do. That'd be pretty cool. But as you can see, that's much more like it. 150 whatever, that's way better. Yeah, that's a two shot. That's a two shot and it cannot miss. So that's why samurai are broken. 36? Man, not the best compatibility with these guys. Certainly not. But still, a frog is a frog, man. Nope. Nope. Give me one. Give me at least one. Goodbye. Two would be sweet, though. Hey, hey my girl. All right, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And in all fairness, that has a fair shot of going my way. I'm actually going to wait for this girl to move in. Mm, am I? I can start throwing on her right now. That's probably smarter. I am already hasted. And if she charges something like an idiot, I'm pretty sure that Regina can just kill her. <laughs> I wasn't watching the compatibility. Maybe it was bad. Hmm. No, it looks like they're going to go for damage on uh, Regina. Blood suck would be bad, but it didn't happen, so that's good. Damage split, he's going to take some chip. Looks like it actually rounds up. Not that that really matters, but as you can see, pretty darn good ability. We get some healing, and we actually deal 50 damage to that guy right now, which is always good. Oh, she's actually just going to drop Yurgil, like, immediately. <laughs> immediately, but that's okay. Oh, wow, and she's going to come right down to me. Please hit me with draw out, she says. Please, oh, please hit me with draw out, she says. Okay, if you insist. Can I get a... Can I get a shell? So we move right here. Throw up a shell to Yurgil. And he now lives to flare. Yeah, look at that. Status effects. Coming in clutch. So keeping him alive is going to help us out a little bit here. Especially if we can get some nice last song action. Hey, I'll take that draw out. Ooh, and another spell here, perhaps. Some kind of... Flare? If I can get the flare, I'm doing it. I'm definitely doing it if I can. And I should actually be able to, I think, because... Oh, I can't actually proceed any further. But I should be able to because she's coming up next. MCB can drop a... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A high ether. And if that was the guy with counter magic, I'll be honest, I didn't really check. But if he is, he's actually going to hit his own guys. Because Draw Out does not care about ally versus enemy in this game. It just straight up hits everybody. Everybody in range. I'm not tweaking, right? Nope, this is the spot. Right here. Right there, and I actually don't have to go anywhere. I can just move in. Hit Regina with a high either right now and she'll be able to cast that flare too no problem I actually don't have a high ether but an ether is enough in this case thankfully <laughs> oh that could have been bad I oh right I didn't save after I bought it of course but Yurchel survives because of the shell we damn near kill the other death knight because of the flare 
And this is a very good look. It's a very, very good look. I can jump down there, right? Yes, I can. So as long as... As long as that Death Knight moves, I can be up here. And then drop back down to help out in the future. And the only way for the Assassin to do much of anything to Yurchel would be to petrify him, which is not really the end of the world. Oh, wow. Zero damage. I'm just going to save the CT, honestly. Yeah, there's actually no point in me doing anything with him. If I can get behind that Death Knight, then we'd be talking, but... It's not meant to be for the time being. Now, fortunately, Flare can miss, so she's dead for sure. The Sage is 100% going to die. Guaranteed. Yeah, goodbye. See you in about one turn. There's also a chance I get shot and die. Which is why we're coming in from this side. That's good enough. That puts him in range of everything. Absolutely everything. And now, she's gonna have to make a choice. Oh! And she chooses death. <laughs> she chooses the instant death move. Who would have thought? Here comes the ninja. I don't think that he can kill my jeep. No, he's gonna choose to run. Right, he's in retreat mode, which is fine. Not a chance. Well, 20% chance. Good. <laughs> I hate moves like that, man. They make me nervous. Mm, I think Estelle's gonna miss her turn, unfortunately. Ah, that sucks. We'll just go for this. No luck today. None whatsoever, man. But this guy should, in theory, be so low that we can take him out with anybody. And he'll also be in runaway mode, so that's good. That's good. If we concentrate all of those guys down in the corner like that, I'm down. Oh, we made it! We made it just in time, which means, which means Estelle can do a lot of damage. Well, I say a lot. She can kill this guy and start dealing damage to this damn assassin. She should be almost dead. What luck, man. Well, I say that. It was a front shot, in all fairness. It was a head-on shot. But we're actually looking very good. I'm going to move over here, draw out, can't miss, because that's how draw out works, you see. That's another reason that it's so good. Oh, wait, it can do what now? No, she's immune to darkness, isn't she? That was my fault. She's definitely immune to darkness. Draw doesn't miss. I, I'm, I'm, like, so sure that it doesn't. <laughs> my life is a lie. Uh, my G, Regina. Okay, so, ether to Regina. Yeah, ether to Regina. Can draw out miss? <laughs> no, really, guys. I'm actually kind of shook. I didn't know that it could. She's just going to heal herself, but she's not going to move that far. Yeah, we can catch her. I mean, she is totally spent. So there's, like, she can't do anything after that cure. So I'm actually going to start stacking damage on the assassin. Who, at this point, would be the biggest threat here. Now, other than that, we just need to make sure we revive Hitoshi at some point. Because I do actually want to recruit him. If anything, for the defender. I mean, why not? It's a free knight sword. Alright, here we go. 112. That's more like it. And now the assassin is about halfway dead. As long as we don't throw away versus her, we should be okay. But the other guys aren't really going to do much of anything at this point. Yeah, there goes Regina, but so what? So what? We can just pick her right back up. Assassin is now half dead. She runs away, though, which is a little bit annoying. I won't lie. Dennis can probably kill... Yeah. I was kind of thinking about throwing up a... A cure to Estelle so that that wouldn't happen, but... I mean, it really doesn't make a huge difference. My G can just pick somebody back up. Should be able to get Estelle back. Before her turn, I mean. I think. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We'll move right there. Or we won't move anywhere, really. We'll just pick up Regina. Her HP is kind of irrelevant. We'll go for Nameless Logs. We might get re-raises. Yeah, that seems to make some sense. And yeah, we actually do get this life instantly, which is what I thought. So we'll just move right over here. And I think we have this one under wraps. And this is actually going to keep... Estelle not only alive in time for this nameless lung, but she's also going to be out of range of a throw. 
So let's see what we get today. Hopefully some good stuff. I'm looking for re-raises, man. Re-raises, haste, you name it, it can happen. Or we could get absolutely nothing. That's cool, too. It was certainly a possibility. Now, he should not be able to kill me, no. In fact, we'll actually heal up more from this, assuming auto potion goes on. Which it doesn't, but that's fine. It should be our turn next with Estelle, so I'm not really worried. Oh, Yurchel's actually that fast, huh? We missed her turn? When? Interesting. Oh, well, I can just attack the assassin. And nearly kill her. She's very nearly out of here. Finally. Any damage on her at all will take her out. Here comes a dragon rod smack, probably. Which actually could be kind of dangerous, I'm not gonna lie. We have abandoned. What are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> are you are you insane? Are you high? And we still have a little bit of time for a doji. Okay, you are dead. So I've just fully processed that I can't get Hitoshi, can I? They actually just blocked me off. Wow. Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> maybe, maybe. It depends on... No, it actually doesn't depend on anything. We just... We can't reach him. Because of the, of the way the frog just moved just now. Are you kidding me? That's incredible. <laughs> Well, I guess I'll just replay this. I don't feel like doing it again right now. I genuinely don't. Yeah, and now if there was any chance before, now there's exactly no chance at all. Because of that. Oh! Oh, God bless. I lied. Phew. <laughs> we just happen to have some good jump. So we revive Hidoshi. So that he does not turn into a crystal. I wonder why the ninja didn't just kill me, though. I think he could have. Pretty sure he could have killed me. Uh, let's see, you're at 140. So I'll throw from over here, and I will smack you with the whale whisker, and this is looking like a done deal. So finally, some status control was the key here. Getting those frogs at the start was pretty nice, but there was always the chance that we would hit that anyways, right? It was a pretty good shot. It didn't just happen by coincidence. No, no, no. No, 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 no. The way that those enemies are set up really rewards that sort of thing, in this case. I'll, uh, we'll just throw out last songs, honestly. Just to speed this up a little bit. With the Doshi now being officially reset, we're in no danger. Get damage split, kid! Oh, three damage! Yeah, we'll kill the ninja. I'm glad the status is at least still useful, even at this point, though. It could have easily fallen off by now, but no, it was haste and frog, really. That was what did it. That was definitely the key there. I guess I could have probably brought death protection for the dang old assassin had I been counting on her. Why is there an assassin? I think that's the bigger question here. Night Sword. No, oh my god, 216? This guy's insane. Who would have thought a frog would be so difficult to kill? There we go. Jesus. Yeah, this fight's not too hard though, honestly. Just some good old fashioned status control. Lots of speed. Well, not even lots of speed. I think that really what does it is the fact that we just did about a million propositions that you guys won't see. So it feels like we became a lot more powerful very, very quickly. And we're going to take Doshi with his free defender. He has 16 out of 380 health. That uh, looks like a little bit of a glitch there, perhaps. Yeah, he's pretty good, though. Like I said, he's, he's like Gaff Garyon, but with a little bit of Agrios mixed in as well. He has stuff like Night Sword. Uh, Dark Sword. You saw that Death Strike, though. He also has an Unholy Explosion ability. Basically, just the opposite of Holy Explosion. I think that some of his abilities actually are Dark Elemental, though, so you can boost them with 108 gems. I assume that's why he comes with that. Let's see. What else you got, bud? He has Geomancer mastered for some reason. Jesus Christ, Hidoshi. Jesus Christ, Hidoshi. And really all he wants for is like attack up and concentrate. And he has both those classes unlocked already. And in fact, he can just buy attack up for free. Oh, he actually has all of his abilities unlocked too. So yeah, he's just a decent free unit. Like I said, he's basically just Gaff Garyon. So if you need a demonstration of what that's capable of, 
Then, I mean, just use your imagination. Imagine you have Gary Allen but a playable character. And with some extra abilities that are ripped straight from Agrios' skill set. Who And he's also stronger than her. And also just has a better skill set because Dark Sword and Night Sword. I mean, he can top himself off. So yeah, pretty good character, all things considered. Now, did we get it up for Angel Song? Yes, we did. Okay. That would have been a really nice one to have on this fight. And uh, Bards also have Magic Song and Battle Song, which boost the strength and magic of your allies by one point each time it goes off. Think about the opposite of our Dancer Skill Disillusion and the physical equivalent, basically. So, this is really the only way to buff your, uh, to buff your damage stats, I think. In 1.3 anyways. I know the original game had stuff like Accumulate, which would boost your physical attack by one every time you used it. But I honest to God think Bards are the only way to do that in this game. I think there's like some reactions too. Yeah, there's like MA Save, which boosts your magic on a reaction though. But if you want to just straight buff yourself, Bards are the only way. So they're a pretty good class, all things considered. I'll definitely be using MCP, or should I say whoever MCP becomes. I should be using that person for quite a while, I should imagine. Anyways, that's going to do it for me today. So thank you for watching. I hope that you all enjoyed. Please feel free to leave a like if you did, and I will catch you guys in the next one. See you then. Peace.